Ignore the bags of mulch. We're not doing yard work today. Oh, come on. I think I'll reach the plug. So I wanted to get that stuff put on my truck real quick and I'll explain all that in here in just a little bit but that's not actually what we're doing today we're gonna be uh, shooting some big birds if I can find them and I don't mean like I mean like with the camera not the bang bang kind of shoot but yeah right after the short intro <laughs> Poppin' big dreamers, it's good to be back. It actually feels really good to be uploading a video to YouTube for the first time in a while. I took a long break, and the long break I took really has to do with White for Wesley, which is the sticker I just put in the back of my truck. Wesley's my dad, for you guys that don't know, and he was diagnosed with lung cancer. And it's just been really rough on him lately. Um, he's just trying to get started now on the chemo and radiation, and just getting it started has been rough for him. He's had a lot of complications, and um, I've just been spending a lot of time driving out to Bedford, Indiana, about a couple hours away uh, where he lives on the weekends when I normally would be filming and stuff and doing YouTube stuff. I've just been spending a lot of time with him and keeping his spirits up and stuff. But I might try to bring the cameras down next time, and if he's feeling up to it, maybe make a YouTube video with him. He's actually a YouTuber himself. He's got his own channel where he, he posts old TV shows and things that he likes, but uh, he watches YouTube and stuff. So if any of you guys have a YouTube channel and want to give him a shout out on YouTube, um, I'll send him the link and he'll see it. Maybe hashtag White for Wesley. He'd love it. I'd probably make his day if uh, one of you guys gave him a shout out or somebody from anywhere around the world gave him some love and stuff. And I know he could use it right now. So, so that would be awesome. All right, so what we're actually doing today is I found a spot where I may be able to film some blue herrings and some uh, whooping cranes, which are on the endangered list, and they're really rare to see, actually, um, and they're really hard to get close to, but I found a spot. I just happened to drive by yesterday that had a bunch of them, and I couldn't film at the time. I was at work, but I was out delivering, and I was on the highway, and I could see from the highway where this pond was they were all in. And so I'm gonna go to try to find it, and that's what we're gonna do today. I've got my Nikon P510 Super Zoom, so I can zoom in if I can't get too close. And uh, we're gonna go do that. But first, there's one more thing I need to do around here at the house. All right, so I just set up this old pool last night, and we're trying to fill it up with the hose. All right, so as you can see, this water hose is spraying, but must not be very much water coming through there because we had it on overnight. And so far, it's barely, I don't even think it's got a foot of water in it. And that's after what, freaking 16 hours maybe? So I found the problem here where the water plugs in it. Look, it's just, it's all leaking behind my siding. Probably ruining my house. This ain't good. Look how wet it is all across here. And it's been going all night. This ain't good at all. And the only other spigot I have is in the front of the house. I just got an idea. All right, here it comes. Yeah. Got it? All right, we good. Anyway. Are we going on the door or the window? The door. All right. There we go. Doesn't leak. 
Yeah, it leaks uh -oh. a little bit. Alright, I think that fixed it. Let's see what that does. Alright, so the tailgate light up, brake light up thing that I put on the back of the truck, I wanted to explain that too. That was a gift, a Christmas gift from my brother Josh, uh, also known as Spock on YouTube and I'm gonna put a link in the description below because exciting news. You preach for us and let us and then tell us what it is you mean. Spock is back vlogging and he took a long break but it's pretty exciting because he's doing some really neat stuff, some really cool vlogs. He plays Pokemon a lot so if you like Pokemon you'll definitely like his channel but he does a lot of other stuff with his family and things like that. Just some great vlogs, good watching. I'm excited for my bro. And thanks to my bro for that trailer hitch light up thing. That thing is awesome. Matt's big dream. Here's what it looks like at night, by the way. All right, so now we're off to try to film these herons, blue herons, and uh, whooping cranes. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get them both on camera. That'd be awesome. So we're getting close to the area where that pond is. The highway is right back over there across this field. And I know there's some ponds back there. I did take a mental note that the pond with all the herons and stuff I seen in yesterday, it was right behind a uh, doctor's office way back there. So if I can find how to get to that doctor's office parking lot, I should be Gucci. Ortho Indy, I think it was the name of the place too. Property protected by video surveillance. That looks like a police car, but it looks like they're closed. All right, here's a pond. There's no birds in it, but it wasn't this one I seen anyway. It was one back behind these bushes. Let's get out and look. I'm excited. I finally got the blue herons. Now there wasn't any whooping cranes out there today, but I seen one out there the other day along with all those blue herons I just shot. But man, it's still cool to get those guys. They're really hard to get. Some of you guys may remember I spent all last summer trying to get a good shot of one of those, but every time I got close, they'd fly away. All I ended up with was like a crappy cell phone shot of one. And I told my YouTube buddy Simon that I was gonna get some shots of these birds and I got them. So I didn't give up. Which reminds me, I want to give a big shout out to Simon and his channel, Wild Presentations. He's from the UK and he's a wildlife videographer, a nature filmmaker. 
and he does some really cool stuff and he's doing some really entertaining vlogs right now on his uh, YouTube channel so that link is in the description below I know I'm giving you guys a lot of links today but while I'm not making a lot of videos I want to keep you guys entertained and let you know where the good stuff's at so definitely go subscribe to Simon uh, if you want to subscribe to my dad and check out his old TV shows you can uh, but definitely subscribe to my brother Josh he's doing some current vlogs that are really good and check them out Oh, and also let me apologize real quick for how shaky some of that footage was, but when you zoom in all the way like that, and I think this camera is a 42 times zoom, so it's optical, and it, when it's out that far, any vibration, uh, plus the tripod mount uh, broke, and I put it back together with some um, popsicle sticks and glue, so it's not the most secure connection, so with a little bit of wind that's out today, it made it kind of shaky, but hey, it could have been worse. But I do appreciate you guys coming along with me today, uh, looking for the big birds, and I think it's awesome we got them. Mission successful is always good, but uh, I got some exciting stuff coming up, so I will be putting some more vlogs out. I got a really exciting project coming up in the next week, week and a half, and uh, I'm not ready to announce it yet, but uh, here's a clue. Go to the Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace! That metal thing hit your toe? Are you okay?